and welcome back my friends welcome back yet again to age of wonders where i am playing age of something and last time was last time and this time we should try it again but to be honest i'm gonna explore a little bit not really i wanted to explore a little bit but not really because i'm not gonna even try to save in this entire scenario because uh this entire scenario can be finished under 30 minutes maybe maybe not Dependable, we shall see. But yeah, I mean, there are gonna be combat situations. If you don't go manual, definitely would be around 30 minutes if you're so certain in victory. But let's be honest, automatic combat does not work so well in any game known to man. So, what should we be doing here is again, we have our beautiful, ever so amazing Natasha, which is, she is, of course, our mage, because she's an evil like that. And of course, we have a satyr. Because he's an evil bastard who eats children, um, if you did not know that. And of course we have some halfling pony rider and a halfling slinger. Not the greatest choice, uh, to be honest, in terms of many things. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is look at the actual amount of, like, Satyr would be actually perfect to scout this entire area. While we move underground and stuff like that. Because I'm thinking that definitely has maybe there's a, a situation, maybe a village, maybe something hidden here. That they would really love to explore. And that's going to be the entirety of this uh, um, video. is going to be exploration. Because I believe exploration is the key ingredient here. And I really want to know everything I can. So we're going to be moving down underground with this army. Go down, thank you very much. And we're going to of course meet our ever so friendly dwarves. Which is, of course, an awesome thing, because dwarves are cool, and Halion is amazing persona. He will conquer everything, almost everything, and of course, we don't want him to conquer everything, because we really need gold, we need the mines, and we're going to start conquering enemy stuff, because, let's be honest, the red player, which is the enemy player, needs to die, it would seem. Uh, we, of course, have some neutral cities, which are not really about. They are neutral cities because there are goblins inside, and some orcs. The question is what to do and whom to do it with. Considering that the amount of points we usually have, it, well, usually, at least we have found out that there was only 75 points and honestly none of our attacking weapon worked because we can't carry it over to the next level because of the amount of points they require you to actually spend on acquiring that weapon that you acquired in the previous mission. Which, of course, means acquiring even more weapon in the next mission because there is no point to it. Anywho. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Let's end the turn and see how this is gonna go. I mean, it's gonna go as we know. It's gonna how it's gonna go. The beautiful allies are gonna just find some neutral dwarven settlements. I don't know why neutral dwarven settlements, considering that they are dwarves, right? And they're evil like that. So we got out first enough. Finally, we do not should not lose that amount of huge m uh, amount of money. Money, 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 money. Now, I do wonder how you play these games. Do remember, we have a problem is that the we are underground. We don't have an underground skill uh, that is the cave skill, through which means that no penalty on our movement. Uh, of course, we have the penalty on our movement because we're just not cool enough. Okay, as you can see, that's the end. But he has that a nice ability to go through the woods with no penalty at all. So that's the reason why I'm utilizing him. And yes, we find a centaur really seeking refuge. Oh my god, I just love this. Exploration is the key. And I love that. I'm cool like that also, if you don't know. Centaurs appear as a race of intelligent half-man, half-horse beings. They typically live in a small forest-dwelling clan. Although they are considered protectors of nature, they hunt for their food and are skilled in the use of the bow and arrow. Uh, their equine, equine bleh, legs enable them to move over great distances quickly. They can run down almost any prey. Their ability to move easily through the forest makes them exceptional hunters and particularly formidable foes in dense woodlands. As they're generally benign creatures of the forest, centaurs can often be found fighting alongside halflings and elves. Now the buildable units, it would seem, and at least we know, uh, it is a level 3 unit though. So we have seen the level 3 units for the halflings and centaurs were not part of them, I think. I, I, might, be, I might be wrong, I, I probably am wrong. But we do not know. You do not know. Nobody knows, okay? So there you go. We're gonna get that centaur, we're gonna have another one. The problem is that it's 20 turns. Uh, it 
feels like it's easy, but it probably is. I'm just making it hard, but that's okay. We're gonna do this video hundreds of times, and we're just gonna have fun that way. So let's get into Halfling City and talk to these people, these fine Halfling people. Get more of them inside my army, and not actually go down the cases. I'm gonna go follow this part and attack immediately the enemy red player because the point of this is vanquish uh, locations, capture locations. We do not know exactly which locations, but presumably we need to destroy the red player. That is the only player that is aggressive. The neutral factions, the neutral cities that nobody cares about, nobody cares about, so that's fine. Okay, let's end this turn again. And see how this is gonna go. Of course, my dwarven friends are just gonna recapture everything they can. Which is fine and dandy, but we can we have to not like say to them eight hey, dwarves, attack these personas. Not those other personas. And they'll be like, Oh right, you're right. How did you know these things? And uh, now of course we could go to the down the left side and capture that weapon of mass destruction because it would help. I mean it plus one I think something. Uh, but still, and it is actually a spear. It was a spear, if I was, not, if I'm not mistaken. It could be useful. It could be useful. Hello. Well, he begs. Well, beg away, my friend. Beg away. Okay, so I'm presuming there is absolutely nothing here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we can go back. So we have a centaur and a, uh, we have two level three units. This alone could help us in a like in, in a long run, but we've seen the fucking kobolds killing off a level three unit, which is of course a satyr. Kind of sad thing to be honest. A kind of sad thing. But as you can see, compared to the satyr, the centaur has much more to his punch. Six three four six. Four three two six. Like a defense alone on a satyr is amazing. And border level. Well, actually, sorry, the satyr is a level two creature. Uh, wow. So yeah, center level three creature. Of course, he has more strength than just a big fucking creature. Now there could be a lot more here. We shall explore. We shall have fun. Did I? Oh, I did not move my ah fudge demon. There you go. First mistake. Wasted a turn on nothing. That's fine. Not really, but that's fine. It's your fault anyway. Uh, so let's move these two personas up here. Let's go underground. So, I mean, that's okay. This entire level is gonna be about just capturing. And we have exactly two more slots specifically for this. Which is amazing. We, uh, for the two uh, level 2-3 two, units. Like, amazing stuff. Really nice stuff. I can go with that. Okay, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna this time just go down and just go towards the red player and stuff like that it would be nice if the game told us exactly which locations we need specifically to capture as that would be much easier for demon and, and, and his kakarot but it does not work that way come on guys like they have like okay so the, the satyr is making some issues for us uh, that's fine I guess uh, we shall move down, if this is the perfect way to move forward, or backwards, maybe, no, no, okay, fine, moving on. Yeah, automatic combat against you guys, because honestly, if we do lose anyone here, I'm gonna cry. Okay. I didn't lose anyone, Them some almost died. Some people almost died, but that's fine, I guess. We can use some magic. I mean, we do have magic skills and stuff like that. We do have that ability that is, uh, let not summon a frog. We have a healing water, which can heal a unit. And I'm going to do that, because honestly, we do have a few mana crystals anyway. Uh, so let's see, who? We're going to go for a pony. Thank you very much. There you go. Or oh, eight crystals, mana crystals. God, I love this music. Honestly, like Michael Giacchino, uh, Michael Giacchino. I'm amazing. Like Michael Giacchino, which is an amazing, uh, amazing persona who did uh, uh, the ever so amazing Medal of Honor OSTs. I, I always mess him with Van de Boss, but I believe that's how it should be. You mix the good people with bad, and that's just awesome. It, it makes all the colors of the rainbow happen. You know, amazing stuff.
So we can attack the cavern now, or we can just wait it out and uh, wait out for uh, the, the the level two and level three creature, which is gonna take a few turns. Which is not a good thing, of course. We can wait it out still. Here, go, excellent. I mean, uh, we do need if we wanna attack the enemy. I think I'll be needing you. That's two turns. You know, oh god, I hate, I hate, I fucking hate these timed missions. I hate them as fudge. I hate them as fudge. If you can hate fudge more than you can hate the mission, you can hate fudge even more than. It's just like fudginess all over the place. I mean, we could easily kill these guys inside probably with what I have. But it just feels that I will definitely be needing these personas. Now, if she had the climb wall scale, and if we won that battle, well, honestly, she, I mean, again, no point, as nobody can enter the walls, over, go over the walls, and enter the city, and she would get outnumbered and killed probably by the enemy inside the city. But considering that she is a level three sorceress, maybe, ah. Damn it, like, choices, you know, and I wait, I'm gonna wait it out. I'm, I'm not lucky we have a choice, I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun, anywho. And not like, take over 30 minutes just to make one video for this. It will take over 30 minutes just to make one video of this. But uh, this is a good mojo here, as the dwarves are actually now uh, moving everywhere. Uh, interestingly, the, compared to the last time, they had few issues. And you can see that our ally here, Helion, is moving in onto this goblin orc settlement of some orc city. I believe that's an orc city because goblin, goblin cities look completely and utterly different like this. This is a goblin city here. So, move on. Again, it's all because of these caverns. You have a time limit and you have caverns. Like, come on, people. Why? Why would you do this to Demon? You know, why would you do this to me? I want to test the centaur there, you know, I want to test the centaur and see how that's gonna go. For now my ally is doing an amazing, amazing job, I just hope he moves up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, and of course, next turn. Well, that's fine, we fucked, I guess it's day 9, day 10 now. Like, we are really behind what we are supposed to be doing here, and honestly, I'm just feeling it like it's gonna be a bad mojo. Should we go into tactical mode or automatic? Let's go automatic mode and we're gonna see how this is gonna go. Excellent job for now. Mostly cobbled. Last time there were there were a lady of pain and stuff like that. Charmed. We charmed one bastard and they are all dead and one charmed. Amazing stuff, and we get the same weapon, Enchanted Pike. Pick up. Add there, thank you very much, and that's it. And of course, I forgot that I did start building the ever so beautiful catapult. The catapult, not the cat. Wow, actually, now that we charm the creature, we actually have a cobalt in our party. I don't know if he would, uh, like, morale terrible. Like, he can disband this son of a bitch, but again, a, a unit just to scout out the enemy stuff would be a beneficial unit anyway. Moving down, and there you go, enemy city. We have the dwarves moving here to scout out a little bit. What are you, my friend? Dwarven archers. Wow, what a strange thing to see. A dwarven archer. Okay, does this thing actually have walls? Or I was just imagining. I was imagining. But, oh my god. Too small amount of units here, if the red player moves in, is gonna rape Pillage and Burden. He already did take the mine, here, as you can see, owned by orcs. The orcs are coming. They're always coming. The good thing is, it's a full party still. And my ally is doing a good job at actually capturing uh, the settlements and stuff like that. Uh, to be honest, if the enemy captures this, it uh, would not be a good thing, because he would get... Uh, the guys from this goblins, they would easily just say, yay, but, you know, they already had the mine. So I'm guessing that was just from the beginning of the scenario. Again, why 20 turns? Nine days left, like, come on, like, you know, you can do a lot of things, but... Now the question is, to attack. And I'm gonna actually say for the very first time, because I think we can, you know, maybe uh, succeed. We might be able to succeed. We can go for automatic. I'm gonna go for tactical. 
just to have a little bit of fun and see a little bit of tactical combat inside like cave system like it's completely different how we usually fight these bastards and of course they have some bunch of units goblin darters two goblin darters actually and some spearmen with the goblin bomber and they're gonna wait it out of course we have a we have some units that are not that good as you can see yourself of course we have a gob cobbled who doesn't like people so we're just gonna send him into the fray of battle and see how that's gonna go uh, now I don't think I will be able to heal anyone with spell casting. Yeah, we have only the combat spells, healing board. Maybe we can. Yes, we can. Yay, we can! I was expecting that just to be on the, you know, like not on the battlefield, but that's okay. It does work like that, so it's amazing. Let's move in with my soldiers. Now we have a centaur and of course a satyr. Amazing combination, of course. Archery and marksmanship too. No need to try and charm certain of these beings of hell. Cause honestly, who cares about them? Okay, they just don't give two fudges about us. I am fine with this. I am fine with this. Uh, let me get the pony rider and a centaur will go to this location. Yeah, maybe like, no, I mean, the thing is, archery, yeah, as you can see, the range. Go, 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 excellent, pony rider. Can you reach him? Uh, well, no, nah, no, you can't, can you? We have a goblin spearman and a goblin daughter. We don't want to get too close, this son of a bitch might do some evil stuff upon us. Uh, there's a goblin daughter over there. Okay, if I can kill this... Uh, bomber before he can reach his designated target it would be much easier of course let's split these guys up a little bit because of the goblin bomber imagine that you have to do that because of the goblin bomber goblin bomber is quite an evil creature of choice for some people not for me I'm gonna try with this point right to go around and attack that bastard and he is poisoned. Really? Poisoned? By what? I guess from the previous, yes, two or three days. It, it goes after the battle? Really? Interesting. And I did not know that. That's interesting. So the, the, the abilities do stick even after the battle. I like that. It's an interesting way of doing things. Okay, I'm gonna go with this pony rider over this location. And can I go anywhere else? No, you can't. I can hide him over here, but I won't. So let's see what the AI will be doing. Okay, they're moving. Okay, he tried at least. Okay, Satyr has issues here. Wow, really? God fucking horror. Always a Satyr dies first. Like, unbelievable. Why would that ever happen, right? Just bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that one. Poor Satyr. Gets fudged by most of the enemies anyway. And always, he's the first one to die. Like, how can that be, you know, you ask. But I'm telling you how it is. He's just unlucky son of a bitch. That's how it is. He's an unlucky son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, now we have another pony rider that is almost pretty much fudged. That's always a nice thing. There. Now we will leave this thing. Honestly, I don't know why I will even attack that. Because I'm not going to leave any unit behind. No point. These guys are going to rebel. Anywho. So that's a fudge. I guess I didn't really need uh, this creature. At all. I did not need the battering ram. It's okay, we saved in a nice spot because we can avoid this completely and move on. Because on lo just losing these things is not a good thing. At all. <laughs> like losing say specific creatures that are level 2 and level 3. But I believe the Saturn really did not do well. I mean, okay, he got bombed and he got spearmen and I'm concerned that he is a... Well, not really. I mean, he's a satyr. You would expect these bastards to eat people. But no, he doesn't eat them. 
Uh, but it's okay. Burst view. Let's go with that because it'll give us a little bit of view over the terrain. So I don't have to always go through these certain positions. And there you go. Enemy in sight, my lord. My liege. And there you go. It's the enemy. If you can uh, disable these guys before they can really re 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 regroup. It will be perfect, but I have a feeling that's not how it's gonna happen. Let's see what the Builders Guild. Research and build advanced structures. Uh, okay. Well, uh, it would seem... Well, first, let's explore. And Oh my fucking god. Well. Well, interesting. It wouldn't be that difficult, but considering the amount of enemy units in the area... It would become difficult, and they had we don't have any battering rams. So, the gist of all this is that we're fudged. We can't do anything, and we have to capture that under a few turns, right? Yep, pretty much. Which I, I never captured a builder's guild, I never had a builder's guild, so I don't know exactly what that does. So, I'm gonna capture it, it'll be amazing that way. Enter. Uh, let's see, change. Okay, so ooh, we can build a flamethrower, a Prusa builder, and produce and well, install drill. The uh, tunneling allows you to borrow passage through a subterranean. Wow, really? It did be well? I mean, I know that exists in Age of Wonders three, and I'd expect that to exist in this one. Interesting. Really good. Good stuff. Really good stuff. I like that. I mean, just you know, like, and there we lost the city. And there, how many units? Three units back. Honestly, that was a waste of time. I would like help from my ally. I believe he would do the most damage against the... If I could tell him where to go, that would be perfect. Okay, so what I did, definitely the cave crawling. Because of these moments, so I don't have to screw myself overly too much. Extra strike again, nothing on that uh, front. Turn on dead. Spell casting through seeing. The normal vision range of the unit is enhanced, allowing invisible and concealed units to be seen. I like that. Wall climbing. Allows you to scale defensive walls. Hmm. You see, this is a good skill. And I do mean it. It's a good skill. I'm gonna go with attack. There you go. Enjoy that. Done. Uh, so yeah, that's a good skill. Oh my god, come on! How do they expect me to win this? Like, that's so many units! I feel like I do not understand the, the, the objective of this level. Honestly, I just don't feel like I'm, I understand what the fuck is happening here. Okay, I'm gonna try nonetheless, I mean, we're gonna probably lose, I mean, five days left for what? Destroy the enemy hero, that's the, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the point. Destroy the enemy, they stick into groups, so that means I really can't do much against them. My ally just goes left and right, so I can't count on him, and that is the problem. You know, that is a problem, like, they, as you can see, he sticks, so I can't attack him without triggering this army and I can't attack this without any kind of a battering ram we're fudged um, hmm. so honestly I think this specific point is not like uh, getting that spear is useless just go down and capture whatever you can capture and that's it wow it works really immediately like Wow, well not really immediately, how many turns have passed since they captured Trinidor? So now they have actually migrated their own stuff towards it. Okay, I'm gonna leave this, because honestly there is no point. I'm just gonna wait out, maybe hope for my ally to do something. Oh great, look at this. Highway to motherfucking hell. Just ridiculous. How did they expect us really to do this? That's my question. Yeah, I'm gonna try and just GTFO out of here. Like a beast. Just 
good. GTA 4 out of here. Let's see. Okay, hello. I mean, maybe I, I can still escape. <laughs> like, honestly, conquering anything would be useless. Uh, yeah, automatic. Go for it, son. Yeah, close. Okay, moving on. We don't care what happens from what happens there. Okay, fight. Close. Move on. Like, what did I expect would happen? So maybe I'm just supposed to GTA 4 out of here. Like, not really attack. Yeah, sort of. Well, next time, guys, more stuff, I guess. 